Hey there. We are going to work on a little snowman shelf sitter. Um, I needed some extra stuff in my honey stand after the holidays there. It was looking pretty bare, so I wanted to come up with something a little bit different. Hopefully it's not like everything else out there lately. So um, I have already pre-painted um, some of the pieces and then I'll go back and do the shading just because I have issues with my drying. So um, on the base here, I used white flower and I applied with a baby wipe. So it's just an unscented, I get my baby wipes from Costco, but by all means get them wherever is cheapest for you. Um, and then I just apply it to the baby wipe and then just wipe it on. So that's all I did. And I like it because it doesn't get into the little, little score lines. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit of shading around the body here. So all I did was I took Turkish coffee and I'm going to use a, and by the way, on the Black Friday deals, I hopefully got a good um, new set of brushes. <laughs> so we'll see, maybe that'll help my painting skills. But all I did was just put a little bit of the Turkish coffee on the tip there. And then I'm gonna try to find a clean spot on my plate here. And I'm just, it's kind of like an ombre. I'm just pulling it down until it gets really light because I don't wanna do too crazy on the edge here of this snowman. So. I don't want it to be too dark. And then um, before I did this though, I'm gonna get some more water on my brush here. Before I did this, I actually um, sanded with 220 grit sandpaper. So, because I am using birch ply and when it gets wet, that's what happens. It um, lifts the fibers in the wood and so then I want a nice, nice area to apply my paint so it's nice and smooth. So, okay. And we're going to put stuff over top of this. So, again, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, there are a lot of, I, well, I try to do some stitching details in this. So, I'm going to set this up. And let's see if we can do some of the details. So here are the little arms. I've got a couple sets going. I'm gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna fill up my honey stand. So I've got multiple uh, things going on here. But anyways, so I'll go through um, the hat. I use Bohemian Black and I also applied on the, um, the hat as well here. Um, again, I did White Flower for the snowflakes. All of these I applied with baby wipes, so it goes super quick. This, you're just gonna have to find like a burnt orange color because I don't, I don't know, I don't know why I didn't get a color for that one. It didn't, it wasn't on the tag, it's frustrating. These are uh, Showstopper. And then this color is Hot Cocoa for his little arms. And then the trees I did, because we used this on a different project, the Laurel Garland. I liked it just a little bit darker. And then the leaves on this, I used Garden Grove. So now we're gonna go back. And again, you wouldn't have to add any shading. Um, it would be really cute without shading. Here, let me show you just, I'll pull it off I need. But just by even just sanding it, I didn't, I haven't sanded this yet because I actually forgot to do it. So that was a back thing. But even just sanding it gives it enough. Um, I maybe would add the cheeks. But so if you didn't want to do um, the shading and stuff, you wouldn't have to. And if you didn't want to print off the arms separate, you wouldn't have to do that either. See how cute that is? Like, you don't need to... I maybe would do the snowflake just so it sat out differently than the rest of it. But 
that's what he's going to look like. So, um, I don't know. I think there's enough going on. And if you maybe even just wanted to speckle it once it was done, that would be perfect. So we're going to, however, add some shading just so then you can kind of see that again. And then, um, so those are going to be white. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the tree. And we'll do brown. And I'm going to do blue on this one because I've kind of done that blue throughout. So it kind of st sticks with it. Okay, so let's do the white. So all I'm going to do, I know my plate is really, I've been using it all night. Um, take my, wet my brush. I have a little wet uh, baby wipe or paper towel. I'm just damping it off. I'm gonna take a little bit again on my brush right here. And then I'm gonna find a kind of a clean spot. There isn't really, and you're not gonna be able to see, but I'll show you on my hand. So I'm just pulling it down. See how it kind of did a little ombre. So I'm gonna kind of frost these a little bit. And it might look like, ooh, that's a lot of white, but it'll dry not that much white. So I sometimes go a little bit heavier knowing that it will go back a little bit there. I've been hearing that people are doing amazing in their markets. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, yeah, I, We've had a fantastic, uh, knock on wood, couple weeks at our honey stand, so that's wonderful. Always a blessing. So I'm just going around. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And then let's do the little... <clears throat> Giving them a little kiss of color. Uh, let's see if I can use this to. Usually I leave it on my thicker board so then I can do it around it and it's holding it. <laughs> it should be pretty quiet. My uh, chickens are all in for the night. <laughs> I know you guys. <laughs> uh, Okay, so there's those. So we'll just put those off to the side. Clean out my brush. And let's go and do this little, it is Thermal Spring is the color that I'm using. And again, I'm just bringing it down. Normally I just do the little tips, but I think I'm going to come in even more just because this is going to sit on a white background of the snowman tummy. So I think I'm going to go around it a little bit more than what I normally do. And just remember now I've sanded. I don't think for MDF you have to sand. So that might be a something to consider when you're doing things for time. You want projects to be beautiful, but not a ton of time into them, so you can at least make a little bit of money. I'm just off to the side here. I just keep going right back into the same little strip of paint. I'll hold it up when I'm done here so you can see what I'm doing. So hopefully you all were able to get some Black Friday deals. I didn't really go crazy. I only got a couple things. I actually um, could have used all new appliances, but we decided to wait. What we what we do is. Um, shop for them and then get them on Black Friday. But I mean, 
A couple knobs missing on your stove isn't that bad, right? No. So we'll just wait a bit longer. Our microwave, it didn't die. The <clears throat> Somebody had, they were trying to get it up in the top cupboard and above the microwave and they pulled on the handle and so then it wouldn't, wouldn't shut anymore. But So we did replace that, but. I'm going to be incubating another batch of chicks on Thursday. People are still wanting to buy chicks, which I am so amazed. But we do live in a warmer place, so, or warmer than like where I'm from, Minnesota. <laughs> okay, so I just went along the whole, all the edges. I know it's kind of hard to see. But just so then it had a little bit more color so it'll stand out. Okay, then we just need to go along with the Turkish coffee again. I could have done that before when I was doing the little snowman. But you guys will have this down pat if you do um, any type of bulk painting. So I'm just going to go along the edge here of my little my little hand and I'm gonna come in and grab some more because it didn't seem to have enough. And if you're one of those that's super talented and can add like the highlighting too, then by all means do that. I just have to do baby steps here because I'm not, I don't wanna wreck it. It'll dry and it'll be cute. Just giving it some dimension. Um, I will say on the backs of all of the snowmen, I did do Turkish coffee. Um, oh, I didn't say, you know, cause mine are thicker. I gave you in the cut files, I gave you, um, a little kickstand if you want to use that um, or like what I did tonight I am making shelf sitters um, well you can too with the kickstand but what I meant was um, so I had cut because I have also a bigger laser so then I was able to cut half inch ply and then I put the the scored piece on the front of that. So I'd already had it done, but I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So, so that's an option or you, cause I gave you a couple different pieces. So then you can decide if you want to cut multiples to make them thicker, like a chunky. And that's what I did tonight. Um, so back to this little guy. So that's what I did was I, so this is just the front plate is this piece here. And then I have a half inch piece on the back. And then when we get this snowflake and the tree on there, that'll even thicken it up even more. Okay, so I wanna sand with 220 his little hat piece, just so then it looks like everything else. There we go. Okay, so this is super quick, you guys. It's and we're already ready to assemble. So I'm gonna put his little um, hands on first. This is the glue that I love now. Um, it's Art Glitter Glue. And if you want a link, let me know. Otherwise, I do have an affiliates page um, at the top and that'll have it in there. But I get it from Amazon and then I just bought these little bottles separately for, I just love it because it's precision and then this takes a little bit to dry so then I have the movability and then like projects like this where you might have a little seepage it dries clear so it's really nice where some of them I mean even some of the glues you can get cloudy so I've, I really like this Chris at the Sawdust Makery 
turned me on to this, so I love it. Make sure I get it on there correctly. But see how you can move it around? If I would have used like Loctite, it would have been stuck on there for life. Um, let's get his little head on, or the brim. So these now, I went ahead and I applied stitching to a lot, uh, to most of the pieces. So I just thought to give them a little, to go with all the other stuff that I've kind of done lately. I really like it and people are really liking it. So, um, I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. Oh, I've got to put his cheeks on. So let's do that while my red is still a little bit wet. So I take, <clears throat> I know it's not a chip brush. It's a, a uh, stencil brush, but that's what I use. And I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of this red. And then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna try to get this off as much as possible, but I'm just trying to make it evenly dispersed on my brush. And then where can you see? I'm gonna come in here and get it off as much as possible because I just kind of want little rosy cheeks. And if you have a better way of doing it, do it your way, that is totally fine. I. This, I just like to use the acrylic paint so then I don't have to go back and um, spray paint it and seal it. So that's why I do it this way. But you do you. I feel like I never get them even. But the nose will cover it so it'll be fine. And that's it. That was pretty quick, painless. So let's put his little nose on. And I'm not going to put his eyes on yet because I am actually going to spackle tonight or speckle it. <laughs> I know the last couple times I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I don't do it. So, but I am going to do it tonight. Okay. So I'm just kind of lining it up just a little bit. And I put the snowflake on this side because I think I'm going to put a bow here when we do it. So I want, I want to be able to see it. But if you wanted it on the other side, you go right ahead. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I didn't give you score marks or anything. So then you can do, you could personalize them, you can do whatever with them then. If you have a favorite saying you'd like on it, go right ahead. I'm sanding on it. Got in there. So I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, cute. Okay, so let's get his little love him okay so we are at this the speckling stage put my cap on my glue okay again I use the same brush that I use every time but it's just a, a stencil brush I think I got these at the Dollar Tree if I'm not mistaken so I just dip it in my water just a little bit and then kind of get it off. And then I'm going to go right into my white paint, I'm trying to find which one I did. And I'm just getting it in there really good. 
And so how much water you have on here is gonna determine like the speckle size, your little blob size. So, all right, so all I'm doing is running my thumb across this and then just getting just enough on here. Don't need to be crazy. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do this uh, Bohemian Black. So we'll dip that in. I didn't even clean out the brush, I just did it. <laughs> so hopefully I've got enough water in there. I tend to spray my phone. That's why my water gets so filthy is because of doing that. So, try to clean off my fingers a little bit. Okay, look at him. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so now we're not done. I'm gonna take my little stylus tool, get them from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna dip in. This is still pretty fresh, otherwise I would recommend getting fresh little blop of uh, paint and then go in and if you want to do your eyes before go ahead I just like how it looks nice and clean and fill in that little eye area All right, okay, clean that off. So there he is, but we're not done. We're gonna add a bow. So let me move around some stuff so I don't get this all over. So this is 5 eighths ribbon. Um, I get it on Amazon. And let me see if I can just Tie this on first with leaving. There we go. So maybe should have went the other way, but we'll get this to work. So you want to tie it on where it's going to be. I go back and I add a little glue along the back and then the front just to keep it in place. I'm trying not to get my little eyeballs, so I like to smear things around. So I'm just doing two little bunny ears. And if you have a, you know, again, if you have a better way of doing it, go ahead. Um, and you probably could cut it off, but I don't want to waste. So I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just gonna pull it back and keep tightening until I get the look I like. Okay, I think that looks cute. So then what we're going to do is dovetail it. like to do, do not follow my lead on this one, but I like to make sure the ends are good. You can actually start a fire, so I recommend not doing that. Okay, so we'll just get his little, oh my gosh, you guys, he's so cute. So there he is. So then, um, I would just 
do a little bit of glue here and then on the back side and then he is all set so there you go let me know what you guys think i love him thanks for watching um happy holidays i'm not sure how many more tutorials i'll do um we're trying to get ready for things so but I just want to say thank you to everyone too. You all have been amazing and I'm glad I can help. And if you have any questions, I love to help. So, but thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, have a good evening.